Hi all, today I'm showing you how to make my grandma's southern chicken and biscuits. It's a toss up for me which is better, the chicken and biscuits or chicken pot pie. Both are delicious recipes um, that my grandma used to make. Equipment and ingredients you'll need. A chopping board, spatula and knife. A liquid measuring cup. Measuring spoons. A baking sheet, a 9x9 nine nine baking dish and tongs, a 6 quart Dutch oven, two medium saucepans, a 1 quarter cup, half cup, and 1 cup measuring cups, a 10 ounce bag of frozen peas, 2 pounds of chicken thighs, either a quarter cup of whole milk or heavy cream, three carrots, two 32 ounce containers of chicken broth, two teaspoons of better than chicken broth, two sticks of butter, one large Vidalia onion, and one leek. You'll need to preheat the oven to 475 degrees. Now I'm going to give you one of the most important tips I can <laughs> about leeks and that is you need to slice them down the middle and then thinly slice them before rinsing them off and you really have to get in there and make sure you break apart the leaves to get in there to make sure they're completely cleaned out. Leeks are grown in very sandy soil so if you don't clean them out you will get a mouthful of sand. It's happened to me where I thought oh I've cleaned it out no, you've really got to break up the leaves and make sure, as you can see here, I really broke them up to make sure they were separated. And I'm going to do a close-up of the water so you can see how bad it was. It was really sandy. I'm actually growing leeks this year and I'm kind of excited about it because I've never done it. My mom's done it, but I haven't. And so, see how sandy the soil is? You've got to clean them out. Just That's a tip from me to you. Now, I don't have the best knife skills. My brother was a chef, and so he had excellent knife skills. And because I don't have excellent knife skills, I am going to throw my onions into the food process to chop up. And they do a much better job than I ever could. And see how nice they look? And it just makes it easier, especially when you're trying to sweat down a lot of onions. And I did a very large uh, Vidalia onion for this recipe. And now I'm adding uh, to the six quart Dutch oven, one and a half sticks of butter. And I have it over a low medium flame. And you need to be careful not to do it too hot because you don't want to scorch the butter. I'm adding the three fourths cup of white lily all purpose flour now. And I'm gonna blend it all together. You might have a few lumps, but don't worry, that's what the spatula's for. I just smush it against the side to break anything up and it becomes very smooth and you'll see. But just be careful of the temperature because you don't want to burn your butter or your flour. You're just trying to incorporate uh, the fat and the flour together. That's your thickening agent. Once I've incorporated, I normally turn the heat off and then work on something else. Right now I'm working on the leeks and the onions in four tablespoons of butter until translucent.
I always take the pan jerkins and put it into the stock because it's just extra flavor. I always choose bone-in skin on, whether it be chicken breasts or thighs, because there's flavor in, of course, the skin and flavor in the bone that it imparts to the meat. You want another piece, boo? Here you go. Now that the leeks and onions are cooked, I have to bring the stock back up to a Alexa, simmer. Stop. And I'm also gonna turn the heat back on the butter and flour mixture. It's, as you can see, it's really simmering away now, higher than it ever was. And I'm putting in the hot stock, and this is the thickening agent, as I mentioned. Heat activates the um, thickening. So when I add the hot stock, and it's simmering away right now, as you can see, it's really going to thicken up. And I'm going to add the leeks and the onions now. And you can see it's really simmering, but I'm really watching. It's really over, only over like a medium flame right now. It just that it's, <laughs> it looks like kind of molten, but it's not, it's not that hot. Now I'm going to be putting um, six cups in a glass baking dish back into the oven for, I'd say 10 minutes. I'm going to heat it up. Now it's already cooked. This is just for the biscuits. And I've made my biscuits. I'm pulling them out of the oven. And I'm going to, instead of putting the biscuits, which some people do on top of the hot filling, we, we cook ours on a tray for five minutes and then put them back on the hot filling after we pulled it out of the oven for another five to seven minutes. But I forgot to tell you in the other video how long you actually cook if you're just making regular biscuits. It's eight to 10 minutes and I'm so sorry. I'm new to the whole video thing. You have to excuse me. So we're putting them on the tray. I'm gonna cook them for five minutes I'm going to pull it back out after that's done and then put them on the hot filling and put it back in the oven after I put an egg wash on it. And I'll do it for five to 10 minutes, depending on how, how much color you want on the biscuits. And the reason being, I find that if you don't, well, my grandma, if we do it the other way that some people do, it never fully gets cooked on the bottom it's like raw biscuit and it's disgusting because I said oh you know some people do it let me try it no my grandma was right cook them for five minutes then take them out and put them on top grandma's always right and see they're so beautiful my gosh it's so delicious oh I miss them I have to make it again 
In the description below, I have linked the video I did on my grandma's southern traditional biscuits. And I forgot to tell you for how long to cook them for in the video, and I'm sorry about that. I'm new to video. 8 to 10 minutes at 475, and they should come out perfect. But practice makes perfect, I'll tell you that. To help our channel grow, we're asking everybody to please like, subscribe, and comment, but also watch the video from beginning to end because the YouTube algorithm will find us and refer us to other people and so we can grow. Thank you. I post videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays on a variety of topics, cooking, baking, skincare, interior design, gardening, and fashion. Thank you all for watching. We're so very grateful that you took the time to watch one of our little videos. And we're so grateful for all the new subscribers. Thank you for coming on board. We all hope you have a blessed day today. Thank you.